bar. I speak too loud. First of all, he gets sad and civil and sues well for serving my fortunes. First of all, yeah. He's coming, madame, but in a very strange manner. <laughs> he is sure possessed, madame. What's the matter? Does he break? No, madame, he does nothing but smile. Your ladyship will best have some guard about you if he come. For sure the man is tainted in his wits. <laughs> with you, man. <laughs> what man defy the devil? Consider he is an enemy to mankind. Do you know what he's saying? Look at you. You speak ill of the devil. How he takes it at heart. Pray God he be not bewitched. Carry this water to the wise woman, and it shall be done tomorrow morning. If I live, my lady will not lose him for more than I'll say. How oh, now, madam? Oh, Lord. I bid him come with me. Tis not for gravity to play at cherry pitch with Satan. Sir! Hang him, foul collier. Get him to say his prayers, Mr. Toby. Get him to pray. My prayers, Nix? No, I warrant you, he will not hear of godliness. Go hang yourselves all, your idle, shallow things. I am not of your element. <laughs> you shall no more hereafter. Is it possible? <laughs> if this were played upon a stage now, I could condemn it as an imp. 
improbable fiction. Why his very genius have taken the infection of the device, man? Nay, pursue him now, for the device take air and taint. Come, we'll have him in a dark room and bound. My niece is already in the belief that he's mad. We may carry it thus for our pleasure and his penance till our very pastime. Tired out of breath, prompt us to have mercy on him. At which time we'll bring the device to the bar and crowd thee a finder of madmen. But see, but see. More matter for a man, Morgan. Here's the challenge. Read it. There's vinegar and pepper. Is it so saucy? I do it. Give me. Whatsoever thou art, thou art but a scurvy fellow. Good. Valiant. Would or not, nor admire not in thy mind why you call me so, for I will show thee no reason for it. Good enough. Keeps you from the blow of the law. Thou comest to the Lady Olivia, and in my sight she uses thee kindly, but thou liest in thy throat. That is not the matter I challenge thee for. Very brief. I to exceeding good sense. Unless when they be going home, where if it be thy chance to kill me, uh, thou killest me like a rogue and a villain. Still you keep it up with thee, side of the law. Fare thee well, and God have mercy upon one of our souls. He may have mercy upon mine, but my hope is better. And so look to thyself, thy friend as thou usest him, and thy sworn enemy, Andrew Ike. If this letter move him not, his legs cannot. I'll give it to him. Thou mightst have very fit occasion for it. He's now in some commerce with my lady, and will by and by depart. Come, Sir Andrew, scout me for him at the corner of the orchard like a bone bailey. So soon as thou seest him, draw. And as thou drawst, swear horrible, for it comes to pass oft that a terrible oath with a swaggering accent often gives manhood more approbation than proof itself would have ever earned him. Away! Nay, leave me alone for swearing! <laughs> now will I not deliver this letter, for the behavior of the young gentleman gives him to be of good capacity. His employment to me is lord and my niece confirmed no less. Therefore, this letter, being so eloquently ignorant, will bring no terror in the year. You'll find it comes from a clodpole. But, sir, I will deliver his indignation to him by word of mouth. Set upon that, you cheek a most notable report of valor, which will drive the gentleman, as I know his youth, will aptly receive it into a most hideous opinion of his rage, skill, fury, and impetuosity. This will so fright them both that they will kill one another by the luck. Him, what you drink, skill, and fury can 
British man with all. All right, pray you, sir, what is he? He is a rabbit, dubbed with unhatched rapier and uncarved consideration. But he is a devil in private law. Souls and bodies have to be divorced. And his insensibility at this very moment is so implacable it can be by none but by pangs of death and sepulture. Hobnob is his word. <coughs> Give it. Tis 
impossible my deserts to you can lack persuasion. Do not tempt my misery, lest that it make me so much under man as to upbraid me with those kindnesses that I have done for you. I hope not, nor I you my voice for any feature. I think you have demeanors more than mine, famous, fabulous drunkenness, or any tainted of mine that inhabit our ground. All heavens and sounds! Come, uh, sir, I pray you go! Let me speak a little! <laughs> <laughs> which we thought did promise most vulnerable worth, did I devotion. The man grows mad, away with him. But oh, how vile and idle proves this god, Sabbath. Sebastian hath done good, feature shame. In nature there's no blemish but the mind. None can be called the form but the unkind. Virtue is beauty, but the beauty is evil. Our empty trunks overflow is by the devil! The time goes by. Leave me on. He believes himself, so not do I. A hope of true imagination. A hope of true that I, dear brother, now be taken for you. Another night, another vineyard. We will whisper over a couplet or two of most sage songs. He named Sebastian. I, my brother, know yet living in my glass, even such and so. For him, I imitate. And so he went in his color, suit, and ornament. Oh, oh tempests are kind, and so is fresh in love.
relish is in this? How does the stream? Am I mad, or else is this a dream? Let fancy still and lathe steep. If this be a dream, then let me still sleep. So you will come with me. Madam, I will. Oh, <laughs>
this is the air. That. That is the glorious sun. The pearl she gave me. I do feel it. And see it. <laughs> and yet, the wonder that enwraps me thus, it is not madness. But where is Antonio then? I did not see him at the elephant. Yet there he was, and there I saw this charge that he did range the town to seek me out. This council might do me good company right now. I am ready to distrust mine eyes and wrangle with a reason that persuades me, but that I am mad. Or else, the lady's mad. But if it were so, she would not be able to command her followers with such bearing. There something in it that is deceivable. But here the lady comes. I not this Easter. If you come with me and the chance you buy with this holy man, under this consecrated roof, may you hide me the full assurance of your faith and lay all my jealousy to the rest. Will you come in? I will follow this good man and go with you. And having sworn truth ever will be true. for me. There's gold. 